Hello everyone! Earlier I have created a video to show you how to turn your PC into a public web server. Today we shall see how an Android mobile can be used as a public HTTP server and how you can host a website in your mobile phone. So without wasting any time, let's start. First let me show you that I have created two very simple HTML pages index.html and next.html. The HTML in these pages are just a few lines of coding. Index.html page has a link to go to the next.html. And similarly in next.html page there is a link to go back to the index.html page. If I open the pages in browser of my computer, you can see how the pages are looking like. Via the links I can go back and forth between the two pages. So these two pages I'm going to host in my Android device, and then I shall access it from my computer. Let me first copy the two HTML pages to my Android phone. As you can see, I have attached my Android phone with my computer using USB. In my Android device I created a folder with name code board. Now I shall copy two HTML files from my computer to inside the code board directory of my Android device. Okay, so we are done here. You can see the folder in my Android phone. Inside the folder two HTML files are there. Let me just open the files in mobile browser quickly one by one. All look good. We are ready to proceed now. First, we have to install one HTTP server from Google Play Store. Just search HTTP server. Plenty of options are there. You can choose any of these to install. I'm selecting the second one because I tried it earlier and it is very easy to use. Let it be installed first. Now open it. You can see that the server is currently off. Just start it. Below you can notice the URL. Important thing is that the server is running in the 8080 port. Now open your browser in your phone and go to localhost colon 8080. You can see, all the internal storage files and folders are showing in your browser. Let's go to inside code board directory. And then click on index.html. The page is showing in the browser properly. And we can redirect to next page also. But this is just accessing the pages from mobile localhost only. Our next step is to open the pages from another device using some public URL. Before going into that, let me just request you that please subscribe to Channel Code Board for many such technology and programming related videos. Your subscription, like and feedback comment motivates me to create more interesting videos for all of you. Okay, now I am at my computer once again. In my browser, I am now in a site called Alternative to .NET. And in this site there is an application available named PageKite. The full link of this page I shall mention in the description. Now you can see it is showing that. We have to download the APK directly, and currently it is not available in Android Market or Google Play Store. So just search PageKite APK in your browser. In the very first link of Google search you can get different versions of this APK file. Download the very first one, as this should be the latest version. It will take few seconds to complete the download. Now transfer the APK file to your Android phone. Install the APK. Open it. It will ask you for your email ID and name. Remember, this name will be a part of your public URL. So just think before put something. Like here I am providing it as code board. Now confirm it. It will show you an alert with your public URL. For me, it is codeboard.pagekite.me. Just dismiss the alert for now. Next if you remember, our server was running on port 8080, right? So just go to local server settings, then click on HTTP port and put it as 8080. This port should be same as per your running server port. And so it can be different for you. We are now all set. Go back to the previous screen and click on enable page kite. Just after a few seconds, you can see that it will show all okay and you are ready to fly. Now go to your computer browser and enter the URL as your username.pagekite.me. For my case, it is codeboard.pagekite.me. And bingo! You can access your phone via live URL. Look at the mobile screen. It is showing that live clients won. Because we have connected our PC with the PageKite live URL. 
Let me just go to the code board directory and then index.html. Yeah, so it is showing the page as expected. And also we can go to next.html file. Now your Android phone is acting as a live web server. If your phone is connected with internet, anyone can access sites from your phone directly. Now if you ask me about security, well you can configure your HTTP server properly to make it secure. If you need another video on security, let me know in comment section. So that's it for today. If you have enjoyed this video please like and share with your friends. Also please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. See you in next video.